What is up YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am very happy you're here because today is a very exciting day. And we are reviewing a brand that I've seen everywhere and if you have been on the internet at all in the past couple years and if you're watching this video, chances are very very high that you have heard about HelloFresh because that is what we're gonna be reviewing today but first things first, I did want to make this video into like a whole day of eating to kind of show you how I implement a HelloFresh meal into my normal routine. By the way, this is completely unsponsored. I mean, I don't have enough followers for it to be sponsored. So, you know, this is gonna be very true and very real and just very ruthless review. Let's make it ruthless. It is currently around lunchtime. Um, I mean, according to the clock, the time did change, so it's a bit weird. But I did have a coffee in the morning and I also did have cereal today. I have been trying to eat breakfast lately and cereal is just very easy, so that's what I had with a new milk, I wasn't a big fan of, and now I'm just gonna open one of these carbonated tea drinks and get cooking. Also, if you have not met my cat yet, um, this is Luna, she's amazing, and I probably need to feed her. First things first, when it comes to pricing, normally HelloFresh is not that cheap, um, however, I did have a discount code found somewhere on the internet, I just googled HelloFresh discount codes, and it was half cheaper. So it was like 20 euros cheaper. So all in all, I paid for three meals for two people. I paid 20 euros, which is quite a good price because I would definitely spend that at a grocery store as well. And here everything comes pre-packaged. So this is kind of cool. However, when it comes to the meals itself, I was expecting more choice. I mean, don't get me wrong. There was quite a lot of dishes. Um, however, if you want to filter by like your dietary needs or like your preferences, then the choices are not that great anymore. You can filter by vegan, for example, or you can filter by vegetarian or like lower calorie. Then the pickings are kind of slim, but still it's really great that they have those options and that you can just pick something vegan. Because I think that one is actually new. They used to only have like vegetarian fish and meat. So now they're adding more, which is really great. However, I don't know, like I just had quite a tough time picking and also you have to sign up first, you have to like agree to like purchase first before seeing the menu, which to me was kind of odd because I would want to see the menu first before ordering, but I was actually not the biggest fan of the selection, but I did pick some things and full disclosure, I already had two of their meals throughout the week, but I didn't have a chance to film it because it was throughout the work week and they were actually really good. And so today we're gonna make the last meal that I have in my box and it's a masaman curry. It's a vegan meal that is supposed to feed two people, but from the quantities I see here, it's probably gonna be more like three meals for me, which is great because I am just stretching it out and it's even more, more cost effective. So I think what you can actually do is pick the meals that are a bit higher in calories and I'm pretty sure you can split it into more meals because if you look at the size of this, this is quite big. I don't think I would be able to eat like half of this when it comes to weight. This is probably like two kilos. I don't know if I'm able to eat one kilo of food in one sitting. We will see. Maybe it's gonna be good enough for me to make only two meals, but well, let's see. Um, I will just get into cooking. It doesn't sound like it's hard, but let's unbox it first. So first things that we have, we have chickpeas and we have coconut milk. This is all in like the correct um, portion sizes that you're just gonna use all of it. So it's not like you're gonna have chickpeas left or coconut milk left. That can happen when you're doing like normal cooking, which that I found actually really cool. Especially if you're not one of those people who are hoarding food and like have stuff in their cupboards. This is amazing because you can make different meals that you usually make and you don't have any leftover ingredients. So we have that. I have a zucchini, which looks a bit sad and old, but I've had it in my fridge for a couple days, so it's fine. A sweet potato, some regular potatoes, an onion, and then I'm assuming aromatics, there's a lime, a chili, and some green onion. And lastly, this is the muslim curry paste, um, some broth, like powdered broth, and also peanut butter. Like I actually do enjoy that it's like individually packaged and like you're just gonna use up the whole thing. Because usually with curry, if you buy curry paste, it makes around two meals if you buy a jar. So this is quite cool. This is actually like a, probably like actually a good portion size um, and not like a two meal thing. But I do have, wait a second. 
Okay, so actually, um, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I do have like a little bit of zucchini left. I think I can just throw it in the meal. Um, probably there's no need for me to save the zucchini for anything else, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of veggies into it. And now that we have all of this, we can start cooking. Okay, so the veggies are prepped now. As you can see, I like about HelloFresh is that they will make sure that you get enough veggies. Especially if you see other proportions, so you have zucchini, then sweet potato and potato. It really speaks to me that, um, you know, like you, you will get vegetables in, like it's not gonna be a non-nutritional meal. Now this has to go in the oven for like 20 minutes. And in the meantime, I will prep the sauce. <laughs> And now I took the vegetables out of the oven. They shrank quite a lot, but they're nice and like crispy and golden brown. So now I just put it into the curry that is right here. And I mean, according to the recipe, it should be done. So this is what the finished product looks like. Um, it looks good. Actually, it smells really good. I will just plate it up and give you the final verdict. All right, you cannot tell me that this does not look delicious. So first of all, it smells and looks really, really good. Um, it took me around 30 minutes to make, and I think that's what it says. Yeah, here it says 30 to 40 minutes, which, which is absolutely true. Like all you had to do is like chop the vegetables, put them in the oven, and then while those were baking, you could chill for a little bit, and then you had to create the sauce. It was very easy. It was very, very, very easy, very straightforward. You didn't have to do much. Everything was prepackaged. Now let's just do a taste test and have a final rating of HelloFresh. Just have a little bite with everything in here. Okay, I've had better curry before, better masaman curry that I made. Um, however, it like whenever I make curry, it's not that easy. It's a lot of steps, you have to go get a lot of ingredients from a lot of different stores to get the good ones. And yeah, it just takes a long time. So in general, for how easy this whole thing was and how convenient it was that everything was prepackaged, everything came to my door, I didn't have to go grocery shopping this week, I give it a 10 out of 10 and I will actually order it again, given if I have the discount. If I don't have the discount, I think for me as a person who likes cooking, it's more effective to just go to the grocery store and make my own meals. However, if you can afford the full price and you don't like cooking, but you want to get into it, I do actually recommend it. And I think I do actually have a discount, a small discount for like the next like four purchases from them. So I will be using them sporadically here and there. And I would actually recommend HelloFresh. Um, just, just like I'm saying, I do actually like to cook. I'm not bad at it. I like cooking. I'm good at cooking. So it's just more cost effective for me to make my own meals. Um, but yeah, in general, I actually am positively surprised about HelloFresh. I thought it's one of those brands that, you know, it's just heavily sponsored by influencers and that's why, you know, it's so popular, but it's actually good, which is a good surprise. So yeah, if you find a discount, go try it. It doesn't hurt. It's actually quite nice. And what I also wanted to say that it's all of the meals that I had from them were actually quite nutritious. Um, they were not like super crazy healthy, gluten-free, whatever, but they're all pretty nutritious and healthy with lots of vegetables and sauces and just goodness. It's a nice balanced meal that is ready for you to cook. I'm just gonna go enjoy that um, with some TV and then I will get back to you for dinner. Welcome again for dinner. It is a bit later. It's already dark outside, um, which I'm not a biggest fan of, but I was just very tired today. I know I'm getting old because I had three drinks yesterday and I really felt it. Um, when I went for a walk today, it felt harder than my run yesterday, which is saying a lot. But I'm ready to make dinner and I wanted to show you something super easy and something that is using a lot of pantry staples because, you know, like a HelloFresh meal, meal is super convenient, but 
It's still quite expensive if you don't have the discount code. However, there's quite a lot of things that you can do with like ingredients that you already have in your pantry. Like I have some lentil pasta that I have to use up. And I also have a tomato sauce and a couple other things that are gonna go in the sauce. But I'm also gonna roast some eggplant. So I already have it here sitting in some salt. So it's gonna draw out the moisture. I'm gonna pat it dry and then bake it in the oven and then I'm gonna mix it with the pasta, it's gonna be delicious. I might make a bake out of it, as in like dump it all into a bake and put some cheese on it because that's, that always makes it better, but I don't know yet. Um, so we will see, but I assure you it's gonna be very, very, very easy. All right, easiest recipe in the world. First, we're gonna saute some onion in some olive oil and then add some garlic to it, quite a lot of garlic. And then I'm adding some sun-dried tomatoes because I had them and the tomato sauce. And then to that, we are gonna add some capers and some olives. You can omit that if you don't like it, but it does add a lot of nice flavor. Then I just cooked the pasta, added it in, mix it around and now i am adding the eggplant um, that is nicely baked and i'm just gonna smooth it out my skillet is okay for the oven so i'm just adding some cheese straight on top of that and that's it this is it this is the pasta bake ready i am so excited this looks delicious um i've been really craving cheese that's why i went to the gas station to get some cheese and i just cannot wait it makes three portions so i have meal prep for a couple days I cannot wait to dig in. Before I go eat and just chill for the rest of the night, I did wanted to hop on to real quick and just say thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you love the recipes. I hope you liked my HelloFresh review. Let me know what would you like to see next. And I see you next time. All right, bye.